Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to Project Somboid. So, today we are going to continue our merry way and try to uh, survive, essentially. And we're going to try to find some useful things, which is actually harder than it might seem. Now, we are in a slight bit of pain. We did get wounded in our last episode. It was a laceration. I don't know the infection rate on that. I did try to disinfect the wound and it has stopped bleeding. And right now the, the bandage is not getting filthy. So later on in the day we might check it out. Maybe we need to see if it, if it does get filthy later on. We might need to get uh, it removed and replaced. Or maybe our wound has just healed up and will be fine. It's something we need to keep in mind. Now, we're getting a bit bored. We're also a bit hungry uh, for now. Let us just eat some broccoli. Just to get the day started, we'll keep all of these items in here for later. We can cook some uh, chicken. We're still hungry. That's not great. Well, we'll uh, eat some chips. They're not very nutritious, but it's going to help a little bit and it will be fine. Now we did get a bag, though I'd really still love to find a backpack, and that is still going to be a huge priority for me. Uh, simply because with a backpack, we can, in fact, uh, hold a two-handed weapon, like the baseball bat, which is just much more efficient, a lot more safe. And I don't remember where the fire station was. This is not the fire station, I think. And I don't think this was the fire station. Honestly, though, I, I just don't remember. It's not here. I'm pretty sure about that. It's not that. I think this is the bar. Uh, this was the police station, I think. And that might still be useful to check out. We, I, I think we'll just head over that way. We'll try to keep it stealthy and try to stay out of sight of zombies. We do have some zombies over here. Or one, at least. But there's usually a couple more. It was a group the other day down here but they seem to have left no idea where they popped off to but for now everything seems fine and this is area is actually not too bad for trying to lose these zombies now we don't want to run too much we are wearing a leather coat which is keeping us super super warm ah, it's already one zombie coming over now one zombie we should be able to deal with i think if we just uh, time it well. There we go. And it's dead. All right. That's good. Now we need to keep an eye out for more zombies. There's definitely that guy over here. We should be able to take him out as well. It looks like he has a pair of scissors stuck in his shoulder. Let's see. There we go. Down he goes. Let's uh, step to the side a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And down he goes. Now we're getting sweaty from that. Yeah, there's a pair of scissors there. We have a wallet. We don't care about the wallet. Right, there's not a zombie over here. Everything is... Oh, there's a little group over here. That's fine. But everything seems remarkably clear. We might want to sneak a little bit so that these guys will not notice us. This one is going to notice us and that is fine i think oh efficient i like it we're still in pain might need some more painkillers now i don't know if i properly searched this house All right we removed the glass now let's see that didn't attract their attention i think Let's see over here. It didn't attract their attention. That is nice. Alright, we'll just keep sneaking around. We do need to be careful. Uh, zombies might be hidden inside. How to use generators. Ooh. We'll grab that for now. And actually I should select this bag. Because then automatically everything gets put into that bag. And that is just a lot better. Right, spatula, nothing in here. All right, we'll get uh, these two, some food, nice. Meanwhile, we have a water bottle, we'll grab that. 
I'm not sure where. The, uh, here we go. Actually, we don't need the dog food. But the tomato soup, the chili, and the canned tomato. Super nice. Meanwhile, uh, that is making us a bit heavy. Uh, we'll have a drink. We'll fill all. And we might actually have to leave something out ah, because of this. Like, we need to put some of this over here. Granola bar, we'll put it in there. Anything else that we can take in there. Like, well, we don't need that. Bandages. Like, nothing here weighs super heavy, which is kind of crazy. Like, why are we overweight? And I wish we could sort this by how heavy something is. Well, we're holding this, the garbage bag in our hand. All right, so that makes sense. So it's just a garbage bag that is too heavy. Uh, we need to uh, get rid of some. What is heaviest here? Baseball bat, I want to keep. Shotgun, uh, we don't really have the weapons. I think we're just going to drop that here. It's nice to have, but I don't really want to use it. I don't have that many, so many bullets for it anyway. Uh, and this might be a good opportunity to just... Uh, can we remove these? Uh, we need an eraser to remove this. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see, we'll add a note. Shotgun. Alright, and we'll leave it like that, I guess. But we will need to add this one as well. And later on, we'll, we'll erase that once we find an eraser. So that's another thing that we need to keep an eye on. Right, so I really, really want to find a backpack now. Actually, we didn't search the whole house. There's still more stuff to find over here. A belt, long john's bottoms. They will keep us warm in winter, but for now, not necessary. Tweezers, not necessary. All right, I think we're good to go. We'll leave the door open. We can run in here later if we need to. And also, not entirely sure if we search these houses correctly. So that's another thing we can do. This one is open. All right, nice. Now we might take some more food if we see it, but... Yeah, the pork chop it's nice but it it will stay it's it'll stay good right where it is so one bedroom like one yeah one this is like that's what you call it right like a one bedroom apartment it's not an apartment but i don't know it's small <laughs> let's just say it's small i got some zombies moving not sure all right they're not aware of me these guys are not aware of me. I'd like to definitely keep that that way. We have a zombie down here, which I'm not entirely sure if I killed it. Seems to be dead. Yeah, that is it, that zombie. Oh, that's making noises. There's another dead zombie over here. Pretty sure she's not wearing a backpack. Nope, she is not. Ah, oh, man. How hard is it to find a backpack? Fitness contraption. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming that's going to be too heavy for me to carry. All right, canned soup, canned food. Like, there's a lot of useful stuff in here. We have some cheese. We'll eat all of that while we're here. Give us some more strength, some more healing, and all of that. And then we'll check our bandage. It is still fine. Our laceration might heal quite nicely. Now, we do have a pot of uncooked stew. We could eat it, it's going to increase our boredom, or we could try to cook it. And yeah, we'll leave it for now, I guess. Well, maybe, since we can reach both, we'll put the stew in the fridge, or in the freezer. And that way it will stay good for longer, and maybe another time we can come back for it. There we go. So we're not taking it with us, but we are trying to conserve it for later use. All right, that house is open. Got a couple of dead zombies here. I think we check this house. Uh, we do have some zombies over here. 
But so far... Ooh, they've moved closer. I guess they heard something, but they didn't see me, and they kind of stopped. Alright, we definitely checked out this house before. Alright, we have a convenience store over here with plenty of zombies. Uh, we're not going to be picking a fight with them. There's some zombies over here. Hmm. I don't want to pick a fight with them either. And then there's some zombies over here that we also don't want to pick a fight with. Now we can actually do a small sprint or a low sprint. Oh man, this is not great. Um, we do have... Uh, we can might be move around these guys and these guys might uh, get vision blocked by the fence. So we, be, we might be able to sneak through here undetected. Need to do a full scan. Again, I don't know if this house was checked properly, but I would assume yes. We still have food in here, but it's all canned. It will stay. It will stay fine for some time. And yeah, I'm just pretty sure there's no nothing useful to find for us here. It's really unfortunate. Now, this is not a good house to run into when we get into problems, really. Let's check the back of the house. There might be zombies back here. You don't know. It, it could be problematic. All right. We might want to climb the fence here, but I don't know what's going to be on the other side. If there's trouble... Ooh, we dropped our bag. Alright, so that's something that we need to keep in mind. We can always pick it back up later though, so that's not really a problem. But if that's the case, we also dropped our... Uh, our bat. And I'd really like to keep my bat. So we'll equip this in both hands. Condition is still fairly decent. And yeah, we have some decent carry weights, so we just need to keep in mind that our backpack is over here. Or it's not a backpack, our trash bag is over here. And we have some people over here. Really, I just need to find... Alright, we have a zombie over here. Go down nice hand fork <laughs> not needed but i think this will actually increase our sneaking skill quite well like i think light-footed sneaking definitely getting better at those most definitely that is super super nice and we do need to keep an eye on the time but it's only 140 oh what the all right, that music was scary a little bit. That came in super abrupt. <laughs> All right, let's just scout. We have two zombies over here. We should be able to deal with those. And this might be the police station, actually. That's another store down here, the yellow building. All right, he did not see me. Now, we did get in here earlier, and we ran into trouble. <sighs> There's two zombies outside. There's more zombies outside. There's zombies over here as well, but so far they haven't seen me. We might be able to sneak around the back, take out this zombie right there. And then see if we can come in from the rear. And if we're super quiet, we might be able to get away with that. No, I just want to... Alright, see her just... That's fine. There we go. Nice. Necklace of Yin and Yang. I, I don't think any of that does anything useful. But it's kind of cool. But is there anything else we can see through here? 
Now we try to come in through the window. There's some zombies. I don't think I want to go around the around this side then. That's definitely going to attract them. So this is our way in, and hopefully, yeah, nice. Please don't trigger an alarm. Nightstick, weapons. I don't know if I can find a backpack in the police station, but we'll find something that's useful. Dirty bandages, pencils, sh sheets of paper, glue. Uh, doesn't weigh anything and it can be used to repair my weapon. So we'll keep that one. Box of paper clips. Eh. Don't care. All right, we'll fill the water bottle. We'll have a drink. That's locked. All right, so we cannot get in through there. That's unfortunate, but here is uh, a holding cell. So far, this is not the treasure trove I was hoping it was going to be. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, there's, there's stuff back here. But well, we need to find a way to access it. There might be a key around here. Uh, but... Did I just see a zombie with a bloody backpack? I am not sure, but that looked like a zombie with a backpack for sure. All right, so we had a nightstick and that's pretty much it. A pencil. You can actually kill zombies with pencils here as well. We have not a garbage bag that we could fill with stuff. But really, there's nothing useful here unless we go into this back room, which is locked. Now it says unlock, but we don't have a key. We could try to disassemble it, but we don't have a ball peen hammer, a hammer, a stone hammer, or a screwdriver. And we do have carpentry. If we have those items, a hammer and a screwdriver, or maybe just one of those, uh, we might be able to take it apart. And that way we could enter, that would be super cool, but we don't have those things, so <laughs> that's it. Now I do want to check out now the front of this building, because if that was a zombie, yeah, that guy has a duffel bag. We need to kill us that zombie. Right, we have triggered some zombies, we need to deal with them, but I think we can. Oh, it's going, going well. Nothing useful here, but that zombie needs to die. Right, let's get up. Let's see. I don't want to trigger the zombies over at the, the gas station, but I do want to trigger these two. Right, that's one, that's two. All right, now let me back out of here. We'll find a nice quiet place to get me that duffel bag. And who knows what kind of useful stuff is going to be in that duffel bag as well. All right, come on, sons of bitches. Let's go, let's tango. All right, keep them at a distance. They're going to they're going to die eventually. That's one. That's two. Perfect. Ha <laughs> We've got a water bottle in here. Some other stuff. That is, that is the stuff. That is what we needed. That is exactly what I wanted. All right now, how is my weapon doing? It's doing okay. We'll put the pipe wrench in here. Painkillers don't seem to be needed anymore. We are not in pain. Uh, we don't need a bandage. We have rip sheets. This is all fine. But look at that. We have ourselves some proper carrying capacity. Because this one, or the other one, we needed to hold in our hand, right? And that basically counted towards this uh, amount. This one is completely separate. So that's perfect. We have three zombies over here. The river is over there. Actually, we could do some fishing over there. Uh, we're a bit moist. 
Like we might be able to take care of these zombies as well. Like maybe it's good to just clean up some zombies wherever you can. They shouldn't come back. There's like there should be like a limit to the amount of zombies that are actually around in Project Zomboid. But their amounts is ridiculously high, so you cannot realistically expect to kill all of them. Oh crap. I do need to time my hits well. Nice. A letter opener. <laughs> Red digital watch, gold ring, like all of that. We don't really care about. Zombies can drop useful items though. Right, we'll try to sneak up on that last one. Because maybe, and that's just going to increase our sneaking skill. That's going to save us in the long run, I guess. <laughs> nice. Alright, there we go. Now, how are, how are skills looking? Sneaking one, unlocked. That is nice. I do think we need a point though, like we need skill points or something that we can invest in that. Or now maybe this is just, we just have sneaking level one and light footed level one. This is slowly going yellow. So, all right, so we just got this and now that's it. We don't need to click on it. We just have it and, and that's slowly increasing. That is really good. Now it's getting late. Uh, we might want to try and get back to the house. Group of zombies over here. Not going to want to deal with that. This is continuing on towards the river. That's also not where we want to go. I'm getting slightly hungry as well. So I might want to just go back to the house and cook myself that pot of soup as a reward for having done really well today. Now, I do think we're not going to go straight through here. We're going to go back the way we came. We're going to find my bag that I dropped and we're going to fill it with all the stuff that we had to leave behind. And we do, we are hungry. We might actually be able to find some food in here without attracting these zombies. That would be super nice. All right, so let's have a look. Cigarettes, we don't care about cigarettes. Cigarettes, lighter cigarettes. Nope, don't want it. And this is contextual, like this should actually kind of show what is in there in terms of items. Like we see food here, so there should be food in here. And like you can see, well, we have sunflower seeds we might want. No, actually the sunflower seeds, it's just for flowers, really. It's not edible, as far as I know. Might be wrong. But I don't think so. So that doesn't really help us. Plastic bags, we don't care about anymore. Crackers, sure. We'll grab some crackers. We'll have orange sodas as well. This is good, even just for the bottles, even if we don't care about the actual soda. Burrito, fresh. Ooh, nice. We'll, uh... we'll take all of these burritos out of here. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll eat uh, one. We are peckish, we could do with a bite to eat. We are a bit wet, so we also need to wash up. Oh, look at that. No, no, that's what we already have. Never mind. Some more perishables. We'll grab all of this. Pop, orange sodas. Like, well, mm, maybe we won't grab everything. Like, it would be good to have some canned food instead of these perishables. That's the restroom. Or this is the way to enter the restroom, I guess. Yeah, okay. Wasn't entirely clear, but okay. All right, I don't think there's anything useful in there for us. So it's about time we left. It's getting close to darkness. It's six. Right, we'll sneak around the back of this zombie. Yep, oblivious. Ah, that's so good. This is going quite well. I'm happy with today's progress. Killed a bunch of zombies. We improved some skills. 
we won't trigger other zombies. We can get back to our bag, which is over here. We'll grab all of the stuff that was in it. Let me just check. And now zombies. Perfect. And look at that. We have a bunch of stuff here that we really want to take home. There we go. Good stuff. Now eventually I'm going to want to have a secondary uh, safe house. Now we have that group of zombies over there. That's something uh, we need to be aware of. That is not a group we want to trigger. So close to home. So far so good. There's another small group of zombies. There's actually four. Like, with a baseball bat we might be able to handle them. But I just don't want to run the risk. Right? I just want to try and sneak in between these groups. They're not aware of me. Good. They're still not aware of me. There's a group over here. Oh crap, did these guys see me? I think those guys saw me. Yeah. Can we deal with these guys though? I think maybe we can. Oh, more zombies coming in. Push that one away, push, push it away, push it away. Oh crap. Right, another dead zombie. No. Uh, these green outlines really help. Really, really help because you know a lot. You can see a lot better when you need to swing. Oh man, we took care of this whole group of zombies, huh? That's perfect. There's another group over there. But now we're getting drowsy. We're getting tired. We're, we're, we're wet. We're unpleasantly hot. We don't want to continue this fight. Most definitely not. Now there's a zombie over here. That is not aware of us and I'd like to keep it that way. We're super close to home. Now this is a zombie we need to... Uh, that's kind of like our marker. This is our safe house. We made it back. We survived another day. We're also cooling down a little bit which is nice. We do need to wash up. But all of that is stuff. What the fuck. Uh, it sounded like a zombie growl, and that sounded super close. Alright, seems clear enough. I guess. Alright, so. Uh, I'm just going to take care of all of my inventory stuff. I'm going to wash up, and uh, when it's quite late, I'm going to bed, and then we'll come back for another day. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and following this series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do let me know in the comments below if you do. It does really motivate me to keep this series going. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.